Currently, we are working on Web 2 and we are excited about Web 3. And then Jack Dorsey says, hey, we are coming up with Web 5. That is correct. But then why do we need Web 3 and Web 5 when we have Web 2? Now think about this. What is happening in the Web 2 world? Now, basically, it provides you multiple services, right? So we have so many websites, so many applications, and they provide you some awesome services. The only problem is for every different service, you have to provide your information. You share your personal information, you share your post, you share your photos, you share your location, and all this data is there with that particular website. I mean, that, that is okay, right? Uh, not exactly. You're not sure how they are using that data. Maybe they're using your data for marketing purpose, they're using your data to sell to someone, or they are using your data to influence you. So that's one thing. And again, you might be thinking when you upload a photo on a website or when you upload a post somewhere, basically you own that data. Uh, not exactly. This company owns your data, not just your post and photos, your personal data as well. So that's one issue. The second issue is, Let's say if you are using a particular service, maybe Apple Music. So what you do is if you want to use that service, you share your information, you share your email ID, phone number and all the details, and then you are enjoying that particular service. But what if you want to move to some other service? Again, you have to go to that particular website or an app. You have to share your information. Then only you can access that particular service. So basically, if you want to switch, you again have to share the information. And this company, they actually lock your data with them. You can't even delete it. And of course, with the help of GDPR, it may be possible, but not in all the countries, right? So this company actually hold your information. So can we do it this way? Can we just reverse it? Can we say, hey, let me hold my information. I have a box here. In this box, I will have my information. And if you want to give that particular service, you have to request for the service. You have to request for the data. I will give you data and then I'll be there. Of course, when you don't have to share everything, you just have to share that you have an identity and maybe a particular key, and they can verify this is you, what you're claiming to be, right? So that's the box I want. That's the wallet. That's the right word in the terms of Web3. We call it as a wallet, which has your identity. So that's where we were going for Web3, right? And that's where Jack Dorsey, the founder of Twitter says, hey, we have a better solution. Let's go for Web5, which is actually a combination of Web2, all the services, and Web3 technology, and that's your Web5. And this is actually built on Bitcoin blockchain. So basically Web5 provides you with decentralized identity and the storage for your application. To learn more, let's go to the particular website. So this is basically the company by Jack Dorsey, a blockchain project company. And it was formerly called as Square, and now we have a different name. They're coming up with Web5. It's an extra decentralized web platform. And you can see this is actually a combination of Web2 and Web3. If you want to learn more about it, there's an amazing PDF available. You can just explore that PDF. In fact, I will show you some introduction part as well. Now, what they are providing you is first, they are providing you with the wallets. They are providing you with the decentralized web application. Uh, in the Web3 world, we call them as dApps. And they are also giving you decentralized web nodes, the blockchain nodes, actually. If you explore this PDF, which is an amazing PDF to go through, so this is the same thing I've explained, right? So basically to access any a web, you have to share information with each service. But how about this? Can we just have one particular identity and we can share with multiple service? And you don't even have to share information. Basically you will own your data. And that's what I actually I was talking about from a long time on this channel, right? Basically we need privacy where you need to have a power, where you need to have the hold on your own data. So we have talked about this. This is actually Web 2 and Web 3, which is creating Web 5. And this is interesting. So decentralized web application enables developers to write dApps or decentralized web application using the identifiers. Basically, you'll be having your own identities. And this identity is actually verifiable on the, on the chain or on the network. And important thing is they don't have a token here. And don't think about the pricing of token or you know the inflation of tokens. So that, that's a different thing. Uh, we don't have any tokens here and it is decentralized web nodes and they are combining everything to give you web 5. in fact this is just an introduction video of web 5 i have not gone through the entire documentation how it will work how uh, what kind of application you can build but this looks a promising start but again uh, my bet is on web 3. Uh, web 5 is just an implementation just an idea so it's not a replacement for web 3. in fact on twitter i saw this uh, amazing tweet uh, this is Web 1 is scientists were in the driver's seat. Web 2 is techno entrepreneurs were in the driver's seat. Web 3 
is VCs because the entire Web3 is funded by VCs. Again, it's a promising start. But what about Web5? And Jack Dawson said it, it is for the people. Uh, people will be driving it. And that looks promising. So in future, for sure, we are moving from Web2 to Web3. Doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, Web2 to Web3 or Web5. Uh, so it doesn't matter whatever people are claiming about. It's a scam or something. You know, maybe lack of knowledge, but blockchain is there. Blockchain will be coming and then it will disrupt the entire ecosystem. Most of the companies are using private blockchains because they don't want to share the data with the world. They want to use it for their own uh, uh, use cases, maybe for supply chain, maybe for hospital management, or all those uh, use cases. And then for the consumer side, we have public blockchains, right? So again, the word it, blockchain is on the way, Web3 or Web5, doesn't matter. Blockchain is the underlying technology. So yeah, that's it from this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it in the comment section and tell me how excited you are for Web3 or Web5. Bye-bye, everyone.